Live Free or Die by Camille de Molay, February 1788. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. One difference between the monarchy and the republic, which alone should suffice to make the people reject with horror all monarchical rule and make them prefer the republic, regardless of the cost of its establishment, is that in a democracy, though the people may be deceived, yet at least they love virtue. It is merit that they believe they put in power in place of the rascals, who are the very essence of monarchies the vices the concealments and the crimes which are the diseases of the republics are the very health and existence of monarchies cardinal richelieu avowed openly in his political principles that the king should always avoid using the talents of thoroughly honest men long before him salus said kings cannot get along without rascals on the contrary they should fear to trust the honest and the upright it is therefore only under a democracy that the good citizen can reasonably hope to see a cessation of the triumphs of intrigue and crime and to this end the people need only to be enlightened there is yet this difference between a monarchy and the republic the reigns of tiberius of claudius of nero of caligula of domitian had happy beginnings in fact all reigns make a joyous entry but only as a delusion therefore the royalists laugh at the present state of france as if its violence and terrible entry under the republic must always last everything gives umbrance to a tyrant if a citizen have popularity he is becoming a rival to the prince Consequently, he is stirring up civil strife, and is a suspect. If, on the contrary, he flee popularity and seclude himself in the corner of his own fireside, this retired life makes him remarked, and he is a suspect. If he is a rich man, there is an imminent peril that he corrupts the people with his largesses, and he is a suspect. Are you poor? how then invincible emperors this man must be closely watched no one so enterprising as he who has nothing he is a suspect are you in character sombre melancholy or neglectful you are afflicted by the condition of public affairs and are a suspect if on the contrary the citizen enjoy himself and have resultant indigestion he is only seeking diversion because his ruler has had an attack of gout which made his majesty realize his age therefore he is a suspect is he virtuous and austere in his habits ah he is a new brutus with his jacobin severity censuring the amiable and well-groomed court he is a suspect if he be a philosopher an orator or a poet it will serve him ill to be of greater renown than those who govern for can it be permitted to pay more attention to the author living on the fourth floor than to the emperor in his gilded palace he is a suspect one has made a reputation as a warrior he is but the more dangerous by reason of his talent there are many resources with an inefficient general if he is a traitor he cannot so quickly deliver his army to the enemy but an officer of merit like an agricola if he be disloyal not one can be saved therefore all such had better be removed and promptly placed at a distance from the army yes he is a suspect Tacitus tells us that there was anciently in Rome a law signifying the crimes of lasse majest. That crime carried with it the punishment of death. Under the Roman Republic, treasons were reduced to but four kinds. 
namely abandoning an army in the country of an enemy exciting sedition the mal administration of the public treasury and the impairment by inefficiency of the majesty of the roman people but the roman emperors needed more clauses that they could place cities and citizens under proscription augustus was the first to extend the list of offences that were laissez majeste or revolutionary and under his successors the extensions were made until none was exempt the slightest action was a state offence a simple look sadness compassion a sigh even silence was laissez majeste and disloyalty to the monarch one must needs show joy at the execution of their parent or friend, lest they should perish themselves. Citizens, liberty must be a great benefit, since Cato disemboweled himself rather than have a king. And what king can we compare in greatness and heroism to the Caesar, whose rule Cato could not endure? Rousseau truly says, there is in liberty as in innocence and virtue a satisfaction one only feels in their enjoyment and a pleasure which can cease only when they are lost end of live free or die by camille de molay